Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I want to show you how to use image animation, an app on Canva. So um, when I saw this app earlier today, I thought about Etsy sellers. That was the first thought I had. So a lot of Etsy sellers, especially those of you who sell um, homemade goods, um, jewelries, dolls, or I don't know, whatever Etsy people sell, they have a lot of still photos and some of these still photos can be a little boring and also uh, Etsy algorithm really likes like videos and whatnot. So if you're someone who has an Etsy shop and you sell handmade goods and um, you don't have the skills to make uh, cool videos, you think there's no need for a video because people can see them um, in a photo anyway, but creating a quick video, an animated video using um, just your photos, your still photos, can be a way to kind of boost your Etsy sales or at least um, visibility. So um, with that in mind, I think this app, Image Animate, can be really useful for Etsy sellers. And I'm sure you guys can think of other uses too, but when I was thinking about the uses for this tool, and because I have an Etsy shop, um, that's the first thing that came to mind. I probably won't be using it because I don't use um, handmade product. I sell digital products. Um, but if you are someone who sells handmade products, this can be a fun way to add a cool video of your product. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the app. Um, it's called Image Animate. And I was searching for it earlier, so I already have it over here. But if you don't see it, just um, search for image animate and it will show up the first one, image animate. And when you click it, it gets added to your left panel. Now it's asking me to select an image in the design. Um, so I will, you can do a couple of things. You can either go to the uploads tab and then upload a photo. If your own photos but since I want to make it quick I'm just gonna go to the photos tab and I'm going to use this photo the first one that I see here because I was playing around with it earlier now imagine you have an Etsy shop where you sell handmade jewelries and maybe this is one of your jewelries so this photo is fine right it looks okay looks great um, but you could make a video out of it so how do you do that you click the image animate app and then you select this photo when you select it as you can see in the selected image area on the left panel in the apps dashboard or the apps options you have this bracelet now there are a couple of different animation tools available the auto animate it just automatically creates an animation or you can use motion parallax where you can um, choose a few different options. So for both you see that you have motion range, animation length, number of loops, so you can create like loops if you want. We're not going to do that for now. Um, and then you can generate um, in the auto animate. But if you select motion parallax then you can select camera path for the motion basically. And you have several different options. You can read through them, play around with them, and see which one you like best. For this video, I'm just going to choose a simple one, something like step up maybe, and see how it comes out. Um, also, in the top, you can play around with motion range, animation length, and number of loops, as I was saying earlier. Um, I'm not going to mess around with those. I'm just going to leave them as is for the time being, and just click generate. And it takes um, one or two minutes, sometimes even three minutes. When I was playing around with it earlier, it took like three minutes for one of the images. And uh, yeah, it's a long wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click pause and come back when the video is ready. All right, so we are back and yep, it took a couple of minutes but the video is ready. So let me get rid of the image. And then under this video where it says add to design, I will click that. 
and that gets added to my design. And then it takes another few seconds to, you know, add it, actually add it, apply it. And then you can kind of change its size as you see fit, if you want. And there's our video. So if I hit the play button, as you can see, it created an animation where it looks like you actually made a video of this bracelet. Um, it looks like you moved your camera and whatnot. So basically, it creates a nice effect that can make the product look really nice when you're creating product images for your Etsy shop or any shop, basically, wherever you need product photos. Um, so the product photo thing is the one, one thing, one use I could think of because you can't really get good results with this app when you're trying to do fun stuff with faces and whatnot. So like I was saying earlier, don't try this with um, photos of people. So I'm just going to try it just for the heck of it. Um, so let's, <clears throat> excuse me, voice is breaking again. I should drink some water. Um, anyway, so I have a photo of a person here. And let's try animating this photo. So I will go back to image animate and then I'll hit the go back button here so that I can select this photo. And then this time I'm just not gonna use motion parallax. I'll just leave everything to auto animate and then generate to fast track everything. And I'm gonna pause the video once again because it's gonna take a couple of minutes and then I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, guys, we are back and the animation is complete. Let's take a look, a closer look. It always takes several seconds to apply the video to the design. All right, so let me zoom it so I can show you why I don't like when okay there you go so if i play it so the features just don't look very good it's like the face see that like it's just it distorts the face completely um so yeah definitely do not try to use this app to animate um photo of a person it's just not gonna work so yeah don't do that uh, but as far as still photos are concerned, like what we did earlier uh, with the bracelet, that's great. Um, so this bracelet, for example, uh, that animation was amazing. So yeah, if you have like, if you sell products, you're a solo business owner, you don't have uh, video skills or, um, you know, the proper equipment to make really good videos, then instead of using boring still images, you can use the image animate app to create simple but still interesting videos of still products. Anyway, that's the that's the tutorial for today. And just so you know, uh, the app is called image animate. And that's it. That's today's video. And I will see you with a different one sometime soon. Bye.